Guys, I've had these gloves now for about six years. I picked these up, yeah, about six years ago, and I uh, used them for hunting and for photography. These are the Heat 3 Smart Gloves, and they're pretty awesome. I'm gonna go into detail on these, and you guys can let me know what you think. Uh, they're, they have actual gloves inside, and you can see you got touch pads on them on the finger there and the thumb. Uh, the thumb pops open and Velcro's closed here. It's got hook and loop. Um, the only thing I can say that kind of annoys me about these gloves is if you're going to wipe your nose if it's running and you, you hit this hook, um, it's cut me a few times. But other than that, maybe you could just put like a piece of cloth on there or something to absorb the, uh, the boogers. Anyway, these things have been great. They have waterproof zippers. Um, on the palm and on the back side. It's almost just this little pocket in there. You can put those little heat packs in or whatever else. And again, these are waterproof. Um, what else? The yeah, palms come out. These are goat skin. The goat skin is really tough but supple. I uh, have no issues with these guys. You can see I've got some tape on here. Uh, I burnt this off the exhaust of the uh, snowblower. So they do make these in a full leather. So this uh, that would have been better for me for what I'm using them for. But these are really lightweight. Um, they have a earth magnet on the back. So if you pop your, your uh, glove out, you can actually just kind of snap it in place like that and you have full access. It has cinch cords at the back on the cuff area and it also has them around the wrist. So if you need to pump these up or whatever. A lot of military use these, they call them sniper gloves. Um, and they're pretty cool. They have lanyard holes on them so you can hang these off your pack or whatever you want to do. So these are like back in the day as a kid we used to call them, or I guess our parents used to call them, idiot mittens. And on our mittens when we were about two years old, I think I kept mine until I was about 25, they had a string that went up through your sleeve back around to the other mitten. So if you dropped them or you wouldn't lose them and your hand wouldn't freeze and fall off. Uh, so this is a good idea here if you want to pop the glove off quickly you're not going to lose it you can work with whatever you're doing and that that's an awesome feature so i like that uh, what else can i tell you about them they're pretty expensive but again these have lasted six years even though i'm burning them and doing all kinds of weird stuff with them uh, very warm gloves and you can ventilate uh, if it gets too hot in there you can open up these zippers and good to go i've used these in minus 30 minus 40 and have no issues with them a lot of military agents use these they're called Swedish sniper gloves is what I've been told but again the military uses these and they're pretty cool anyway I just wanted to get these out there for you guys because a lot of people have asked me about them so I figured I'd do a quick video on them and uh, let you guys decide I've left links in the description on Amazon and also right to, to the heat 3 glove uh, manufacturer and if you use the Jimmy meat whistle uh, to our JMW 2020 I believe it is you'll get a free shipping so that's pretty cool, that's about it guys. And you can see the palms are still in perfect shape. No issues, there's no wear. And again, goat skin. So pretty cool. I think if I buy another pair, it'll be the full leather, a little bit more expensive, a little heavier, but I can you know, abuse them a little bit more, I think. And again, this was from the exhaust on the snowblower. Anyway, thanks for watching this quick video and we'll talk to you soon.